Hi, I'm Tzachi Levent Levy of BlogGeekMe, and this time we're going to talk about mixing and routing in WebRTC streaming. And the first thing to understand is that the focus we're going to have is around media. We've got signaling that needs to go from the devices to the servers, and then there is the actual media. In this session, we're going to talk only about the media parts. And for that, there are three different types of group architectures that we can use. Especially in live streaming, we have multiple participants. The first one is Mesh. In Mesh, we'll have multiple users, each one talking to each other directly. Then there is Mixing, using an MCU, Multipoint Conferencing Unit, where all participants join to a server somewhere at the end of the day, and then they get the data from that server in a mixed format. The third one is routing using a selective forwarding unit, an SFU, where all participants send their data towards the media servers in the cloud and receive routed media from all the other participants. Let's review these one by one. And we'll start with Mesh. Mesh is also known as peer-to-peer, -peer, which means two or more participants talking directly to each other. In this use case, we've got four participants. Let's say a fifth person wants to join. He will need to connect to all previous participants to receive and send media from them. Okay? This means that if I have five participants, each user will have four separate connections, one to each one of the other users in the session. Mesh is cheap to deploy. deploy. You don't need any media servers in order to do that, which means that you don't need to spend money over that part of handling media servers and the bandwidth cost that they incur. The more users you have in the session, the worse the media quality is going to be. That's because the actual client needs to process more incoming streams and need to send out more outgoing streams, so the uplink is going to be strained very much. With WebRTC, this won't scale beyond four users for most of the use cases. And even if it does, it would require certain requirements from the devices, they will need to be strong, and from the network, it will need to be very good. This is why we, you will not see Mesh used in live streaming for large groups. Mixing is another architecture. We're going to use an MCU, multipoint conferencing unit for that. All of the participants connect to the server. That server is going to be in the cloud. There might be multiple servers cascaded together. But at the end of the day, each one of the participants send his stream toward that media server and receives one mixed stream from that media server. If another participant joins, that will be the same. He will send his data and the MCU in the cloud would mix all of the information and send him back one stream that is an aggregate, a composition of all the rest. With mixing, we're putting a lot of strain on the CPU of the server. The server needs to be very strong because it needs to decode all incoming streams, compose the image that needs to be done, and then mix and send over to the participants. This decoding and encoding takes a lot of CPU. It is most com commonly used today for audio mixing, or for recording, if I want to record a session with multiple participants, I need to mix them, so I'll have a single recording of the whole session. In general, the more users in a session we have, the more strain we're going to have on the MCU, while the devices are going to be kept unaffected. Then there's routing. With routing, we're going to use an SFU, Selective Forwarding Unit. In this architecture, each participant sends his data towards this SFU in the cloud and receives routed media from all the other participants through that SFU. If another participant joins, he is going to send his data towards the SFU. The SFU will then route that data to all the other participants if needed. It's going to do it selectively. And the user itself is going to receive all media from all the other participants at the same time. Routing day uses a lot more bandwidth than anything else. That's because there are a lot of more, more media streams than there are in the other alternatives. It is a modern choice today and you'll find it very common and popular with group video services out there. Almost all group video services use SFU and routing model 
as their architecture. Scaling and optimizing such a solution is quite tricky. And that's because the more users you have in a session, the more strain there is on the devices, and the more optimization you need to do in order to let the devices provide a good user experience to the users. So how is that related to live streaming exactly? I mean, in live streaming, we've got one participant or one broadcaster, one publisher, sending his data towards a lot of participants. These are the viewers. He's going to do that by using a media server somewhere because he's not going to distribute all of that data on his own. He won't have the uplink to do that. Okay, so where, what, where do we go with live streaming here? If we look at the right hand side, the one of the viewers, this we're going to do using routing SFU type deployment model. Okay, that means that all of the participants are going to receive routed media from that client. We can use you know, the selective forwarding unit can provide different types of, of technologies to offer different kinds of qualities to different users based on the devices and their networks. And that's going to be on the right hand side. We need that because what we want to do is live and in real time, which is why we're going to use WebRTC and the routing model here. On the left hand side, the participant can be on WebRTC and we're done with it. But what happens if what we want to do is to offer multiple interactive sources so that this is a kind of a conversation between all of these three participants, for example, that is conducted by the SFU or by the cloud service and then routed to all of the participants. Okay. One way to do that would be to use an SFU on the left side and the right side or a combination, a hybrid model of SFUs and MCUs. When we're talking about Ant Media and their capabilities, Ant Media offers a hybrid SFU MCU approach where the server is located in the middle. It is the one managing the whole solution. This provides both SFU and an MCU in an efficient way. You can combine the SFU and the MCU in different ways that fits your solution. The classic approach would be to use an SFU on the left hand side for the group com conversation between the broadcasters then take all of these incoming streams, mix them using an MCU inside Ant Media, and send that over to all of the participants that are the viewers of the session. If you want to look, learn more, go to antmedia.io for more details. Thank you.